In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Wix automations to SMS. It's really easy and straightforward to do, but make sure you pay close attention to ensure you get every step correct. So the first thing we need to do is log into our Wix dashboard like you see I've done here. And we want to go down to the bottom left corner. And you can see here there's a section called automation. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now once it's loaded up, we're going to actually have to create an automation. And this really depends on the needs of your business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top and click new automation. And here I can either pick a preset and go to the popular ones. Or I can start from scratch. Now this really um, is up to you what happens. So maybe you want to select a trigger here. So maybe somebody... Um, start to chat on inbox and then you have to decide what action you want to go ahead and do for this we're going to go ahead and click connect to zapier and i'm going to activate it i'm going to call this start chat slash zapier and click save and i'm just going to activate anyway So now that we've activated that automation, we're going to go in again and we're going to actually connect it up to Zapier. Any second now. So I've gone back in and you can see there's a go to Zapier section. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up Zapier and allow me to connect. So now that we're in Zapier, we're going to go up to this little plus icon in the le top left and it says create a Zap. So we're going to click on that there. And we're going to set the trigger event as Wix. We'll use this one here. And then for the event itself, we're going to go down to the very bottom. There's this Wix custom trigger. So we're going to click on that there. We're going to click continue. And you can see I've actually linked up my Wix account here, but you're going to have to go ahead and link it up there. It's just going to ask for some permission. So go ahead and do that. Now we're going to click continue and we're going to select the automation rule. And we've just created this one here. So we're going to select that one. So start chat. We're going to click continue. And then we can test the trigger here. And you can see, okay, cool. So it works. Now, when somebody starts a chat, it's going to pull the information into Zapier. So I'm going to click continue with the selected record. Now, we're going to click on the action tab here. And this is where we're going to select SMS. I would recommend trying SMS by Zapier, but there's a ton of different services you can go ahead and use. So for the event, we're going to use the send SMS section. I'm going to click continue and we have to sign in with the connect sms by zapier thing so click sign in here and sign into your account and basically what you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to give them access to your sms so you need to put a phone number in here and then you need to confirm it by sms or call it's going to send you a pin and that will basically integrate the sms number so once you've gone ahead and actually connected that all up, you're going to be able to go down here and you're going to be able to configure what actually is sent and the SMS messages that you send. It's pretty simple and straightforward to do. Finally, once you have set all of this up, you can go up to the top, you can turn the zap on, you can publish it and then it should work. You can also test it. So every time you get the trigger met in Wix automations, it's going to send you uh, send the SMS here. But that's basically how you do it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. They're helped. Thank you for watching.